Hey guys, Best Bubble Dev here, and I'm here to show you a new tutorial, which is about how to get clipboard data inside Bubble. So let me just demonstrate. And by the way, the request was about uh, getting the clipboard data inside the input element only when the clipboard data is the URL. So in here, you're going to see two things. One is just a regular text. I'm going to get any type of clipboard data inside the text but I'm going to get the clipboard data inside the URL only when it's the URL. So right now I'm going to copy the PG clipboard. This is just the text and I'm going to refresh the page. And as you see, I'm getting the data inside the text, but the input is still empty. But the moment I let's do best bubble dev, I've got URL inside the clipboard. I refresh the page and now it's bestbubbledev.com and the input is also filled out. So how is uh, how this works? I'm going to go to the uh, editor and on the page I've got the text. This is just to uh, display the data. I've got input element also to display the uh, data inside and then I've got this uh, plugin element here. The plugin is called paste from clipboard and it's made by Webercraft, so let's give them a shout out. So you load this plugin or download this plugin and drop the element, which is going to be somewhere in here. Yeah, paste, cli uh, paste from clipboard. You drop it on page and you get this type of element. You don't have to do anything else. And inside the workflows on page load, so have in mind, guys, we're triggering this on page load because it was requested that way. But it's totally up to you how you want to trigger this um, action. So trigger, paste from clipboard A. And I've got some logic here, basically, in, for, for the input element. So paste A's, paste text, turn into lowercase because I don't want to kind of make any... Uh, problems here. Probably this is not absolutely necessary, but I'm doing it. So uh, lowercase, truncated to four. So first four characters from left uh, is HTTP. HTTP is just text that I just typed. So if whatever is inside the clipboard starts with HTTP, um, value of the content will be clipboard's paste text, which is clipboard's value, basically. And if it is not HTTP, then just leave it empty. So after talking to a couple of uh, people in the community, this is not the ideal way of doing it because you, you'd rather use regex or something else to detect whether it's a URL or not because you want to kind of analyze the whole uh, whole string with, the, with the, all the elements inside the text, uh, URL text. However, for this specific use case, I've talked with the guy who uh, made the request and this is totally okay because in, in, in this specific case, user sees what was pasted inside the input element, so it's totally okay, right? If, even if something is um, HTTP and then just some word, right, like birthday. Well, first of all, it was copied by them, them so they know what's inside of that. But anyway, they see it, right? So they can always come here and uh, adjust the text or uh, paste another text. Uh, but if you're building something where where users do not have the ability to see what's been copied, in that case, maybe think of uh, using some other methods to uh, detect whether a string is URL or not. Uh, this being said, I've got a couple of... Uh, couple of requests that are really complex and I have to kind of go through stuff and learn myself uh, how to do it and then make a tutorial. So I was thinking instead of me doing that, it would be nice if I had a community of collaborators and I just read it by them and kind of did some free videos together with them. So I'll add collaboration form here. And if you're good at Xano, if you're good at Figma, if you're good at uh, some other no-code tools, APIs, specific APIs like Meta or Google and all that stuff, please just uh, uh, sign up there. And if, if you're down to uh, making videos with me, 
I'm going to make a form and let's collaborate. Um, hope this uh, tutorial was helpful and uh, see you next time.